What you're looking at is the medallion designed by Josiah Wedgwood, which was used on a mass scale to protest slavery. It shows a black man begging for his freedom, beckoning, am I not a man and a brother? It is one of the earliest examples of pop culture and protest being combined. When I first read into this, I was fascinated by how this artwork penetrated the media. It was printed on cigar boxes, china, uh, teacups, and even worn as jewelry. Art was traditionally a tool for the rich. It was paid for by rich patrons, and it typically depicted those same rich patrons. As a result, the fusion of the protesting image and culture was incredibly significant. As it pioneered modern protesting, everyday items became part of a larger movement, and it even created a passive protest like no other. But was it pioneering something good? Many have called out this movement as hypocritical, as the cigar boxes and teacups that this image was printed on existed only because of the products of slavery, such as tobacco and tea and sugar. Furthermore, the image became more fashion than protest at a point. Regardless of this, there was a rise in petition signatures between 1787 and 1788. The number of signatures increased by a factor of 10, going up from 10,600 to close to 100,000. This happened in correlation with the use of the medallion in British culture. However, Wedgwood's artwork was one of many factors which aided in this rise in humanitarianism. So no, this artwork did not end slavery. It definitely played a part in getting the message out to the world. But one could also argue that it played a part in the negative way as well as the hypocritical and lackadaisical attitude it created towards protest was a failure. And thank goodness we don't have that in the modern world, right? I mean, we, we don't have instances of people using legitimate movements to look fashionable. Or create a false image of humanitarianism to seem intelligible or concerned. Oh my god. Nobody at all benefiting from the labor of people while not doing anything of value to help those same people. Yeah, it's nice that people don't do that in the 21st century.